Hey guys, I'm here today to show you how to make your own lip balm. You can make these in little containers, little little compacts. You could put it in a chapstick container that's been emptied and in a lipstick form. So this is what we have. This is the product. It's Life of the Party Artisan. These were purchased in Michaels. No, AC Moore. Sorry. And I also picked up a fragrance. This is Cherry Blossom. I'll be using very little of this because I did open it and it's very strong. Now, this is the first time I'm making it, so on the side I have uh, some little sticks and toothpicks because I um, don't know how easy it is to get out of there. I'll be using this silicone lipstick mold that I have. I've done other videos on it, so you could watch that on how you can um, make your own lipstick. And an empty lipstick container. And the tint that we're going to be using for our lip balm chapstick is this color so we're just going to take a little bit off of that and just insert it into the melted balm so as to see how we're going to regulate the color so I also have a one tablespoon measuring spoon and a microwave safe dish so the instructions call for you to take one tablespoon of the balm microwave it 30 seconds checking it every 10 seconds and then uh, we'll add a little bit of the uh, fragrance and then I'll be adding a little bit of the color as we go along to see how intense we want it so I think I will use my little scooper here a spatula I have here my granddaughter she could do this part just fill it up for me Pack it in there really good. Get a good scoop out. Dig, 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 dig. So it's nice and, and as you can oil. see, it's like, oil. yeah, she's saying it's like a coconut oil consistency. Just jam it in there. The price for this was really reasonable, I think. I paid six and change with a 50% coupon. So you know that for six dollars with a 50% coupon, you're not going to buy this much lip balm anywhere. This is going to last me, I think, forever. Unless I start making them and giving them away. Very good. That's coming along nicely. Go ahead, keep filling it. And to this, we're going to be adding well, let me just take out a little bit of this. I was just going to wait for the actual um, balm to be melted, but I think I'll just add a little bit to it right now as we melt it. I want it to be very pigmented. Hmm? I want it to have a lot of pigment. Okay. So with this, a little goes a, lot, a long way, I guess. As you can see. Me? Yeah, that's perfect. You can put it in there now. Okay. Just get it all out. Now with this, we're going to have to stick it in the freezer to have it set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to melt it. We're going to put it into our little mold. Then we're going to have to come back to it. All right, so I stuck this in here. You can see it's going to be like a cute fuchsia color. Look at that. Should I make it? No, you could just, if you want, just take it into the microwave for 30 seconds. You want me to do it or you want to do it? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, just um, at 10 second intervals, just check it. Okay. So when I, okay. All right, guys, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, we put it in the microwave. It's clearly melted. So we're just stirring it now to see I'm gonna put a napkin under it so we could see the color 
There you go, you can see the color a little bit better that way. So definitely we need more color in here. Now it's warm in there so this should melt nicely into it. We're hoping. So the pigment is coming on. I'll let my granddaughter do that. In the meanwhile, I will take out the fragrance and I'm going to carefully just add one little drop. Come on. Go ahead. You got one in? Yeah. Alrighty. Should we move it a little more to get these two things good? I don't think that that matters because I've done lipsticks where you get little chunks of yeah. the actual color mm -hmm. and it just enhances. That looks nice. Is that good gold. enough? You want more color in there? Let me see something, dear. That's good. I hope it looks like that when I wear it. I hope it doesn't smell bad though. How's that smell? It doesn't smell like much. It oh. smells like I smell it, but it's not very strong. Well, it's up to you. Do you want more? I want some more. Okay. Put like the two more. Don't get crazy because then you'll be wearing this and you'll be like, oh, why did I put so much? Okay, so this looks really, really, really nice here. Can I smell it? Go ahead, dear. Yeah, that smells good. Okay, so now all we're going to do is we're going to take that, we're going to pour it into our lipstick mold. Now this is something that I got off of eBay. Like I said, you can go onto my channel and look up um, making your own lipstick. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to carefully pour this in and we're going to bring it all the way up to the brim. No, it didn't take much. No, nope. it's not a ta well, a tablespoon is probably, I mean, a tablespoon is probably, see that's already set up there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go off camera of course and we're going to put this in the freezer, we're going to set it up and then we'll take it from there. Okay guys, see you in a little while. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm hoping that this is set up enough, whatever was left over, which was exactly a um, quarter of an ounce which is a little bit over uh, one teaspoon. It is exactly 10 milliliters. That's what was left over. I guess is the one tablespoon that we melted would be enough to fill a little um, chapstick container. So we took this one and we added more color to it. And now we're going to hopefully get this one Done. So I just took the metal rim off. So you see you have the lip balm hanging out. So I'm going to just take and I'm going to insert it into my list of container. So I find that it's easier to get the, the top off to just turn it. And look what we have here. We have a beautiful lip balm that's tinted and it smells amazing. Well guys, I hope that this has been helpful and informative. You liked it and you try it. Now, um, let me have your hand. I'm going to just rub this on her hand so you could see it. Let me just bring in a little bit more. It doesn't really show color. But it looks good. Now this one here, I'm just going to pop it out. Just use my hands. Come here, Mama. Let me try your hand. And I'll try it here. Again, it's very, very sheer. That one has a little bit more pigment than the other one, but she's going to be using both anyway. She could use this with a lip brush. So it's very soft. It's smooth. It's not sticky. It's not gummy on your lips. It's so, so delicious. So I do highly recommend getting this product. <clears throat> Let 
Let me pull it over so you could see it again. This is what it looks like. This is the brand. It's called Life of the Party Artisan. And this brings, let me see how many ounces. It brings 14 ounces. That's a lot. It'll take forever to use this up, but at least I can make them and give them away. All right, guys, again, thank you for watching. Hope it's been informative, helpful, and you've enjoyed it, and it spikes your interest, and you try creating it. If you do cre recreate this, let me know in the comments below how you liked it, okay? Thank you, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Bye-bye.